Fully Auto 3-Part Hematology Analyzer Installation Guide Warm Tips 1. The analyzer must be properly earthed, otherwise personal injury and inaccurate analytical results may result. 2. Using a drain plug to extend the connection may cause electromagnetic interference which may affect the accuracy of the analyzer results. Please avoid using the drain plug by placing the analyzer near a socket. If the use of the drain plug is unavoidable, then the drain plug must also be properly earthed. Unpacking Inspection Upon receipt of the instrument, please check that the outer packaging is in good condition. If the outer packaging is upside down or deformed, shows visible signs of wetness, shows visible signs of impact, shows signs of having been opened, in one of these cases, please contact the manufacturer or your local dealer immediately. Unpack the outer packaging and check the accessories against the packing list inside the packaging. If you find any missing or incorrect parts, please contact the manufacturer or your local dealer immediately. Instrument installation. Find the Allen key from the accessories and remove the two screws on the right side at the back of the instrument and remove the right side face shell. Cut and remove the tie at the sampling assembly and remove the sticker attached to the counter box assembly. Then attach the right side of the faceplate and drive in the two screws. Open the small door on the left side of the apparatus and remove the bag packing the adapter tube assembly. Insert the reagent adapter tube into the hemolysate and place the filled reagent bottle into the apparatus and close the small door. Find the diluent adapter tube assembly and the waste adapter tube assembly from the accessories, and according to the color and label of the connectors, connect one end of the connector to the corresponding connector on the back of the instrument and place the other end into the soft drum of diluent and the waste drum respectively. Locate the power cable from the accessories and plug it into the analyzer, with the other end plugged into the power supply socket. Turn on the power switch from the power socket at the back of the analyzer and the instrument will start and automatically perform a self-test. After passing the self-test, the instrument will automatically perform a blank test. Turn on the instrument and enter the login screen, login as administrator, enter admin for the username and 123456 for the password to enter the main analyzer interface. If there is a problem with the instrument, there will be an alarm in the bottom right corner. Click on reagent management. The reagent items will appear in the interface. Click on the blank space under replace. Wait until square root is displayed, then click on replace to replace the reagent. After the reagent is replaced, the new opening time and expiry time will be displayed. Instrument status confirmation. Click on main menu status voltage in the sample analysis interface to check whether the measured voltage is within the range. If it is out of range, the background of the corresponding item is displayed in red. Click on Main Menu Status Sensors in the Sample Analysis screen to check if the instrument status is correct. If out of range, the corresponding item will be displayed in red. Background Test In the Sample Analysis interface, click on Main Menu icon Performance Background and perform the background test in this interface. Click on Mode, select Whole Blood, use Diluent as the sample, press the sampling key, and the background test will be performed automatically. Repeatability test. In the sample analysis interface, select whole blood mode, take blood according to the test range in the table below, and press the sampling key to perform the test 10 times. After the test is completed, select the list to review, select the 10 groups of data just tested in the list, click on the trend graph to see if the CV values in the graph are within the requirements in the table below, click on the arrow on the right to see more items, and determine if the repeatability meets the requirements. In the sample analysis interface, select pre-dilution mode, place an empty clean sample tube under the sampling needle. Click on Add Diluent to inject diluent and press the sample button to inject a total of 3000 all of diluent. 
Click Cancel and the analyzer automatically clears the sample probe and returns to the analysis interface. Select a fresh blood sample according to the range in the table below, add 60 ol of blood to the tube, mix well with the diluent and press the sample button to perform the test 10 times. When the test is complete, select List Review, select the 10 sets of data you have just tested in the list and click on Trend Graph to see if the repeatability is as required.